Hey guys, welcome back. So in previous videos, we have covered how can we uh, create content fragment models using different data types, fragment reference, content reference, etc. And then using those content fragment models, we have created content fr fragments. Now just to understand those content fragments are nothing but the data, the information and this information we want to expose uh, on some URL. URL are nothing but the endpoints. So we'll have some HTTP requests and then we will get this information. We will fetch this information from the content fragments. Now we need to create this endpoint first. Uh, basically that URL. So to create the endpoint, if we go to tools, general, we scroll down, we should see this GraphQL. And this is nothing but the endpoints we can create. We see uh, <clears throat> there are different endpoints which I have already created. Um, to create a new endpoint, we'll create, click on create. We'll get a name and then it is asking for configuration. You see, <clears throat> we want to create a new configuration. We have already created a configuration folder in earlier videos, but just for the sake of continuity, let's create a new content uh, configuration first. We'll go here, we'll go to configuration browser. We'll create a new configuration. GraphQL demo, maybe I will call it as GraphQL demo endpoint final and I will enable all these options. Let's create it just to make sure we have created it rightly. Uh, basically this GraphQL persisted queries, they should be enabled. Okay. After that, we will create the endpoint. So again, go to tools, click on GraphQL, click on create. Give it a name graph well, maybe I will say it because we have already used it and here in the drop down we should see the newly created configuration and here if we notice this is our endpoint so our endpoint will be because this is my local host local host colon 4502 slash slash content cq graphql etc endpoint dot json so this will be my endpoint so once the endpoint is created now we can access uh, our graphql inbuilt editor to access uh, uh, you know the content fragments model within this endpoint so let's continue and we will uh, see how can we use this endpoint. 